Meet the Graviners, everybody's favorite dysfunctional family, starring Ellen and Damien and Tallulah's Tiara as Tallulah's Tiara. This episode, nothing much happens. Well, hello and welcome back here to Meet the Grabbiners. Now, I have so wanted to be recording this recently, but it seems that every single time I try to get organised, something has gone wrong. I think trying to get this out on a Sunday was the bad idea here, to be honest with you. it's uh, I've been doing more and more live streams on Sundays, and it just hasn't helped things. So, we are here sitting around the family table, eating some breakfast. <laughs> Uh, we have Need the lovely Tallulah there, and we have, as a guest, we have Daisy Swizzle, who Ooh. invited herself over, and <laughs> she is Go one, or indeed possibly three, of uh, Damien's uh, love interest, as indeed is this lady here, uh, the, the lovely Delicia Hoover, so... Whatever Damien does, he's going to have to take care, which, yeah, let's face it, that's not exactly Damien's strong point, so... Hey, we have to see what we can do with him. Damien is... it's Tuesday. Are you off to work soon? You are. You are off to work at one o'clock. But I think before that, I want you to go and run an errand. Um, need you to... Do I, does this place have a consignment store? I think it does. Let's see if we can find it. What's that? Oh, okay. Dancing. Nah, yeah, consignment store. Consignment store. Yeah, consignment store. Uh, you can tell I don't know this map very well, can't you? Um, that's a uh, supermarket doesn't appear to have a consignment store, does it? What's that? That'll do. Okay, I want you to pop down there. That's, uh, actually, no, that's, that's not what I'm looking for, is it? That's a uh, junkyard. It's pretty certain this place had a consignment store. Can't seem to find it. We're moving on. Oh, there it is. There you go. Visit land grab sale and swap. And hey, thank you very much, whoever sent me a file while I'm in the middle of recording. Hee <laughs> hee. Right, okay. And to Lula, what I want you to do is I want you to work on your friends. I mean, one of the things that people have said they want to see her doing is um, getting herself a date for the prom. And there's uh, a couple of young men she's met recently. Um, there's. Uh, Jupiter Bell and there's Jupiter Bell uh, so actually meeting more teenagers might not be a bad idea so what I think we're going to do with you is right, first of all have a chat with him and then let's see if we can find a place where teenagers are going to hang out because I want you to get to know some more people. Um, <clears throat> that's bars. You're too young to go into bars, young lady. You're too young. Um, where should we put you? Well, I, I tell you what. Let's get you down to the centre of town, okay? Um, let's go. Here we go. Go to the gym. There you go, and we're, I'm sure we'll meet some new people there, and that leaves Ellen. Now, Ellen, I've got plans for. Um, Ellen is going to be off to Japan, uh, to China after today, because I want her to enter a competition and uh, actually tone up her martial arts skills. So I think what we'll do here is we'll give you a one last run through. Oh, there they are. I'm starting to work. I think, where? oh dear, what's happened to the uh, all the martial arts there? So practice, I want you to practice with balsa ward boards. I think you're tough enough for that. Now, there we go. Okay. 
And then you get these organized. Uh, yeah, Tallulah's on a Tallulah's on a, a snow day today, so she's not going to school. And uh, since Damien and uh, Ellen have finished their day, I'm going to book a holiday for Ellen. She'll have some. We'll have enough money for it then. That's everyone organized. <laughs> Let's get this. Uh, okay. Who's going to work? Yeah, just the person. You go to work. And see that time already. It's that time already. You go to work as well. And you can look at uh, you visit Land Grab afterwards. It's good. That means we can follow Tallulah around for the day. And I must not, I haven't done much with Tallulah, apart from give her a uh, lots of tiaras. <laughs> My goodness, there's a buxom wench. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, true, typical teen actually complaining about all the dirty dishes. Not doing a thing about them, but complaining about the dirty dishes. Oh, she's off. Okay, and. Yeah. Well, actually, that, that conversation with Jupiter seems to be going on quite well, doesn't it? You flogging around, and why are you going to work? Ah, oh, there we go. Just needed some time to stare out the window by the looks of it. Alright, speed this up, get the conversation over, and then we'll follow her down to the gym and see if we can meet someone interesting. <laughs> Damien Gravener has just run off down the road there to go to work. Yay! Hee <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, come on, off you go. Off you go. No, okay, laugh while staring out the window first. It's always important to have a laugh while staring out the window, I found, before going out. You know, it just, just makes life come more into focus. Yeah, you know, have, a, have a second one. You know, just, just double the effect, why don't you? There we go. Thank you very much. I think... Deep in the heart of every single sim, there beats. There exists the soul of a, a, a slightly grumpy four year old. I'm fairly certain of it. Come on, load up. Alright, let's find you some boys. You really mean yes? You don't understand. There's only one real answer, and it's yes. The word no shall be removed from your vocabulary. And. What better way to do it than by reading the book that uses no twice from cover to cover? Read, there is no no, no, to improve your job performance and improve your relationship with your boss. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so, right, there's people here. I uh, take it back. There's paparazzi here. Paparazzi. Uh, uh, celebrity. Yeah. None of that's any use to us, so you just go to floor. Go to level 11. Oh, okay. That did that on purpose. Go to floor 11. There we go. There we go. Let's see if we can find some teenagers for you to hang out with. Uh, Matthew hanging apparently is invisible, which is a clever trick, isn't it? <laughs> to be invisible and level uh, level five celebrity is also very good, I would say. Okay, all right, off you go. Oh, a girl has knees. I can understand that. Isn't that Jupiter Bell? Yes. Ah, you tr you've tracked him down. All right. Okay, have a little run, and then we'll get you meeting people. So Ellen has left work, and she's earned three hundred and four simoleons. Have you not got promoted? You should have got promoted. Come on. Thank you.
Yep, she got promoted, as you can tell by the overly loud music. Congratulations! Ellen's impressive performance has earned her a promotion to City Council member, as well as a bonus of 768 Simonians. Politician at last! As the newest City Council member, you have the unique position of affecting change on the welfare of the city. Change takes time, though, and re-elections cost money. You'll need to start working on your neighbours, acquaintances, and random individuals for their campaign donations. Bring your walking shoes, Councilwoman. So, that's not a bad job. Alright. Uh, what are you doing? What you're not doing is working out. So why don't you just talk to Jupiter instead? Friendly. Uh, uh, amusing greet. There we go. Now you decide to get on there. Let me see. Do you look like a teenager? Lil Bling. Alright, I'll tell you what, let's get, let's get, you, why don't you just get uh, working on the last of the Mohicans here, let's see if we can get to know him a bit. Uh, so friendly, get to know, friendly, gossip, and friendly, chat, there we go. Let's get to know a little bit better. Um... Right, Ellen is finally worth some money, so we shall um, be sending her off to China a little bit. I just want to get uh, a Damien out of work. And I just want to get Damien out of work, and uh, we'll see what we're up to. Damien, what have you actually done today? You didn't go to work, did you? You didn't go to work. Oh, you complete waste of space. Ah, oh, dear. Right. That's not bad drawing, is it? That's not finished. Okay. Mm, so. Store closed. Oh, you, your timing is so good. All right, what do you want to do? Go to a dance club. Learn inventing skill. Prepare autumn salad. Reach level five of the film career. See Tallulah. Become invisible. Uh, right, lose the inventing skill. Uh, actually, lose the autumn salad. There we go. And go to a dance club. Let's let's let's, let's make some use out of you here. What's uh, um? Why don't you invite? Yeah. Why don't you invite Daisy over to a dance club? There we go. Choose a location. Uh, we saw a dance club. There we go. That's done. Okay. There we go. Okay. It'll be interesting to see if you can get in there. Uh, you've been snubbed. Well, there's only one thing to do when snubbed. Invite out number two on the list. There we go. And we'll do the same thing. Uh, this is this is this is Damien. I don't think he actually sees them as people. So. Sounds like fun. Let's meet there. Okay. Excellent. You're off. You are fast making a new friend. That's excellent. So, Ellen, I think it's time to do something with you. And what we need to do with you. Okay. Um, what we need to do with you is get you abroad. Let's, let's uh, send you on holiday, shall we? You know, probably going to get you out there just in time to end the episode, but uh, next episode we can do the whole sparring thing, so... Uh, wait, so there's a phone. Okay, right, cool. Uh, there, real estate and travel services. Travel. Okay. Yeah, just have a little kick first, why don't you? Go on, go on. Yeah. You know, just tone up those, those phoning muscles. Yeah. Looks like the party is somewhere else tonight. Okay. I don't understand what you mean. The party is always where I am. You... Found your young lady yet, have you? You found your young lady? Okay, so... 
Yep, three days seems like a good deal. In Shang Simla, China. Okay, off you go. Damien Gravener has just entered a hot spot. Where is. Visit Aquarius. There we go. Let's find this young lady of yours. So what if she's the maid? Hmm. I know what you mean. Yeah, if I was to date people I thought socially acceptable, I'd only ever date myself. Yes, there's a name for people like you, Damien. And I'm not going to say it in this... Buy a party effects machine. Hmm, okay. Right, and here we are. And Ellen has just making her way into the tourist centre. So what do we need to do with you? Do you have any opportunities out here? Uh, opportunities? No, nothing in China at the moment. I'll probably pick you up one. You want to go to a, you want to spar with someone, you want to improve your martial arts skill. Um, learn a level two Chinese visa. I think we can promise you that one. And those aren't really gonna happen out here, so let's forget about those for now. And what should we do with you? You're you're in pretty good shape. And do you have a bed reserved? I think you do. Make it the last time you're here. Set bed ownership. Ellen Grabner. And it's also. Let's lock some doors as well. Which you can't do. Okay. Um, we'll deal with that later on. Alright, now. Time for you to go and make a mark for yourself. So, all I want you to do is. Up out here, visit the Phoenix Martial Arts Academy, find some people to spar with, do some training, and then I think what we need to do is get you into a competition. So, off you go. In fact, off you go faster than that. Right. So it looks like our plans are, are moving ahead quite nicely here. You know, Ellen is on her way to the art of uh, kicking someone's behind so hard their tonsils feel it. Damien is on his way to a second love. Um, yes, and Tallulah it seems to be finding her her Mohican guy to invite to the. Uh, the prom, so yeah, it's all going well. Here, stranger, friendly interaction. Uh, let's see if we can have a fight with her. Oh, that's a good start. Uh, friendly. Oh, there we go. Spa. Spa. There we go. Let's have a quick spa. <laughs> See what these guys are like. In fact, let's. Come on, don't just stare at each other. Oh, they're the same level. Get a couple of phone calls. Uh, phone calls. Get a couple of uh, photographs. I think that's probably going to be this episode style now. Oh, lots of lots of screaming. They they're getting into it, aren't they? Okay. Go on, Ellen. You can do it. You can't believe it. You you you're going to be so hurt, bitch. Yeah, I'd say they're quite easily matched. Oh, 
They seem to be doing, doing quite a good job of it, though. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. In fact, you can do it in double speed. There we go. Yes. That was loud. Right, sparred with someone. What happened there? That went well. Okay, right. Now we need to need to get you into the competition. Well, I have no idea how to do that actually. So, um, but it doesn't matter. We what we do is we do uh, we do some training today, okay, and um, perhaps go on an adventure, and then some next episode, which will be the following day. She's out here for three days. Um, let's work out how to get you into into. Um, ranked matches because there's got to be some way of doing it and um, I'm sure somebody will say hey you idiot this is the way you do it in the comments so we'll find out soon uh, it was a good fight though I think it was a good fight okay I was looking through this while she was practicing and it looks like the, uh, the, the the post is going to win there, to be totally honest with you. But if you look at the phone, call Sim, Challenge Spa Tournament Contender. So let's do that. And then hopefully they'll come here. And we can fight them. It's interesting to see who the, who the Spa Contender is as well. Yorb! Yorb Pomalagra! Do you want to try as Xilian to an official martial arts tournament to the death? Or at least to the shame? Oh yes, you bitch. Come here. Alright. Uh, are they here? Are we have to wait for them? Alright, well, into the meantime, why don't you have a, a practice on the board here, okay? Play that. And I'll keep an eye open for them. Jeez. There they are! Right! What time you turned up? Right, friendly introduction. And then, kick them repeatedly in the teeth. It's, it just seems to be the right way, doesn't it? Yeah. If we're going to do this, let's be polite about it. Here we go. The first Ellen on the way up the ladder to Martial Arts Grand Master. Slightly stinky Martial Arts Grand Master, but uh, never mind. Brave easily impressed the computer whiz. Well, your Google Foo is not going to help you here. Challenge to a ranked sparring match. Soon dab again. You don't want to take me on. My armpits are a deadly weapon. You smell that. That's the courage that is. Oh, here we go. Is this, is this going to work well or is this going to be a complete disaster? Only time will tell. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh. Or perhaps you can't. That was that was a definite punch in the boob from Xi Huan there. Oh. If she loses, we're just gonna have to practice some more and try again. Oh, it looks like they're close. Oh. She lost. She lost. Oh dear. It's just... Poor Ellen. Right, you go and have a shower. And then do some more practice. And we'll try this again tomorrow, okay? So, off you go. Have a shower. Uh, Oh, okay. I think we're going to end it there. I have no idea how long this has been, but uh, next episode we're going to concentrate on getting uh, Ellen into the competition. 
because I have an idea of what she wants to do when she gets back to um, back to town so you're trying to shoo someone out who's yeah you're basically trying to shoo so someone out who is already in there so why don't you just go here go are they leaving they're leaving right get in there have a shower before someone else goes in there there we go okay so as i was saying i think we're gonna leave it there i've been simon parsons this has been meet the grabbiness thank you and good night